Welcome to my channel. My name is Shaquan and this is the Future Mrs. Husband channel period. I hope and pray that you are doing well. Thank you so much for returning to my channel and clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title for today, we are doing a what's in my bag tag and I actually love watching these videos which kind of begs the question why did it actually take me this long to record this video for my own channel but either way uh, better late than never i suppose i actually have a new bag that i got run about two weeks ago so i finally took it for a spin last week and i'm going to show you exactly what i have in this bag right but yes if it is your first time clicking on my channel or coming across my channel welcome i hope and pray that you love the vibes and the vibrations that you stick around but please do not leave <laughs> without subscribing to my channel please please support me and help me just get to a thousand subscribers she gifted me this bag and then it came a week before my birthday blessings guys i was so so happy um, but yes, yeah, so she is basically the only person that I order from, okay? I know that we have a lot of Instagram boutiques and stuff like that, but she's the one person that I completely trust and I have been ordering from her for, since last year, actually, since last year. And I'm completely happy with her service and just, I just love her so much. What I am going to do though, I'm going to leave her, uh, her link, a link to her Instagram um, so that you just go and support a black queen child we are just supporting our sisters wherever we can but without further ado if you do not follow me on instagram you probably obviously don't know what bag i'm talking about but if you follow me on instagram you did see me actually post this on my instagram okay so this is the on the go tote by louis vuitton and i absolutely fell in love with this design when i saw it but you can actually wear it or carry it like from different sides you know it will still just look so fabulous now let me tell you don't come for me and be like oh child it's not even the real bag don't do that i'm a nice person don't do that <laughs> But either way, I absolutely love this bag. What's weird about it, I actually love the smell of the leather. <laughs> but yes, I um, love this bag. It's very spacious. I love the quality, eh? The quality is amazing. It is definitely a bag that you, as you can see right now, that it is a bag that I will be able to carry and use for quite a long time, okay? So this is also not a bag that you would use every day or that you wear just anywhere, you understand? This is like real rich anti vibes you feel me <laughs> but here's my loves let's get right into checking what's in my bag i haven't really cleaned out this bag i carried it for i think probably two days last week and i haven't really taken anything out of this bag so let's get right into it and just see what we have in here okay so these are things that i normally carry in my bag a lot of the times okay so the first thing that i have in here is my side pin painkillers i always have painkillers on me i do suffer from migraines and i get triggered by a lot of things and easily too you understand so i don't want to be in the field with work or whatever it is and i don't have painkillers on me and then you know there goes my day so i always make sure that i have painkillers um but yes another thing that i also have in this bag would have to be my asthma pump so i haven't used an asthma pump in many years okay but then when i had covid in june everything just i don't know things just changed from there you know there are still times where i feel like my chest feels very heavy and i'm struggling to breathe so i always have to have this baby on me my mother actually sent me a few when i was you know when i had covid i had somewhat of a mini attack on friday and yeah thank god for this guys because what but yes another thing that i always have in all my bags has to be this um, this case basically is just a necessity regardless of who you are and where you're going you definitely need this okay so i don't want to come too close to the camera because my nails are not done guys send me money to do my nails but anyway so i always carry this case with me i have a pair of scissors in here i have cuticle filers i have my nail clippers i always always have this okay so probably if someone tries to do something with me i might actually be able to use one of these things as a weapon so i always carry this with me 
Um, but yes, the other thing that I also have in all my handbags has to be my wipes. I have been carrying wipes in my handbag for a very long time. And I remember even when I was at Fish, my colleague PJ, he would always be like, Oh, she, I need to clean my workstation or my prep area. Um, to buy wipes a month, then I always, always had wipes for everyone. So I always make sure that I have wipes in my bag. The other thing that I have in here is my Gucci Bloom perfume. Now this is the scent that I was wearing last week. Absolutely love Gucci Bloom. Oh my God, love this. Like you know when I wear this perfume, I just feel like a conqueror. Like I'm, I'm, I'm that girl. Like I'm just on top of it. Okay, just so sophisticated and very eloquent. <laughs> But yeah, I feel so good when I wear this perfume. It just brings out a new level of confidence in me. You feel so put together and so chic, man. Oh God, I love me some Gucci Bloom and I'm pretty sure that some of my ladies will be able to relate to this. Oh, oh, Jehovah. Yes. But yes, this is the perfume that I was wearing last week. I always carry it in the box because I don't want anything to happen to it to fall or whatever it is. Mm -mm. I'm probably going to cry. But yeah, the other thing because of the times that we're in goes without saying my sanitizer. I got this from a colleague of mine. She always sells them. So I always buy my sanitizer from her. I've been using this for probably a month now. And there's still a lot left actually. But yeah, this is the sanitizer that I actually use at the moment. Other than that, I have my, my specs. So this case looks, guys, look at my, look at my case. I know that I have a few <laughs> of these, but look at Wow. I'm not gonna cut that out because wow, what was that? But this is what I normally wear. Okay, so let me tell you guys a story what happened to my to my kids. I have kids. So basically, cutting that story short, don't have kids. Okay, they were chewing on my damn thing. They chew on everything in this house. But anyway. Other than that, I have my hand cream. You know that with constantly, you know, going into different shops and different people using like um, spirits, for example, like they spray you that, oh God, it just works my nerves. Or sometimes you would smell your hands and it's like vinegar. You're just like, how, brah, how? But anyway, so also with me using a lot of sanitizer because I'm definitely that person. Like I would probably touch a paper and I'm like, oh, sanitizer. So I definitely need my hand cream. This is a Q10 anti-age three-in-one hand cream. This one is anti-wrinkle smooths and also evens your tone. A lot of the products that I use are from Nivea and a lot of them are from the Q10 range. Love it. But yes, that's what I use. The other thing in my bag, guys, like I said, this bag is really, really big. It's a tote, obviously. But it's very big and it's very spacious. So it actually carries a lot of things. And I've also realized that when I have a big bag, I tend to carry a lot of things or I tend to take a lot of things with just to fill the bag. Because you know, with those big bags, you need to fill them up or else they just look very, yeah, you know. But yes, other than that, I have the Instant Relief um, After Sun Lotion. I live in the north. It is extremely hot here. Um, so even during winter, guys, we feel the sun for real. So I always use this because I am a marketing officer. We do a lot of promotions and activations. We're constantly in the field. So you definitely need this for your skin. I think that's why I haven't really burned as much from the sun, even though I live in the north. Um, but yeah, definitely a necessity for me. I take it with me everywhere I go. And then I have my mask, obviously. Yes, I have my mask here. And then I have my charger for one of my phones. I think the other chargers, yeah, they're down here because I was actually charging my phones. And then I also carry my phones with me. I have three, four phones with four different numbers. Um, but they all serve different purposes in my life, okay? Like one is for business, one is strictly for family and friends, like very close friends that is. Um, but yeah, so I have a couple of phones. <laughs> and then I have my makeup bag, okay? So as a lady, you definitely need this. And I would suggest that you definitely get it in black because we use makeup, it stains everything, and if you get like other colors, trust and believe that you are just going to be staining and be washing that bag all the time. So 
I have a few things in here, like I have my foundation, I have my lip gloss in here, my brush that I normally just touch my face with, I have my mousse, yeah, mascara, all of those things are in here. You just never know when you might actually need to touch up your face or whatever it is, okay? So the other thing that I have in my bag would be my rosary. Okay, I have been carrying this rosary with me for ooh, many years. <laughs> I think I actually got this for my mom. I don't know if it was my first communion or my confirmation, but one of those. That was back in the day. I, I got confirmed in 2004. It makes me sound old, but once again, I'm not. But yeah, I got this rosary for my mom. I carry it with me wherever I go. It's like she's so close to me whenever I have this rosary with me. I mean, I come from a praying woman, so yeah. Definitely carry this with me all the time. What else do I have in this bag? I don't know what, okay, fine. I have a pen. I always carry pens. You just never know. And then I have what actually takes up a, or what actually took up a lot of space in this bag and what normally takes up a lot of space in my other handbags, okay? So this is my journal, this is my Bible, and this is my devotion book. I hardly leave the house without these. If I don't carry them in my bag, trust me, I have them in my laptop bag. Always, always have this with me, okay? So my journal, I got this from my best friend with two a few years ago, and I wrote in it halfway through, but they never really used it like I was supposed to. And now I'm back to it, so I carry this with me. They are very intimate moments about my life in here. I write down my emotions. It really helps me cope with my emotions um, and feelings at the time, prayers. There's just a lot in this book, okay? And then also, I have this... Oh, so I have this devotion book that I got from CNA around about three years ago. I actually bought this book in Ongwendiva when I was here for the trade fair, the last time that I was here for the trade fair. And this is just blessings for women, words of grace and peace for your heart. And the devotions are so, they're so short, hey? Eh? Oh, what is this one? Oh, these are my prayer points. <laughs> okay, so the devotions, as you can see, they're very short. It literally takes like a minute to just reflect on this for the day. But this is basically just, um, I don't know, just daily blessings to lift my soul man um there's also something here that they were, that um, Susie actually wrote at the back who's the writer or the author of this book she says that just begin each day with a reminder that God loves you with a passionate everlasting love and also just you know to remind you to give all your worries or whatever it is that is troubling your heart everything give it to God and there's so many times that I have felt a certain way and just not feeling my best and feeling sad for whatever reason that when I open this book, the answer is just right there. It's just a constant reminder that it might not be okay right now, but it's going to be okay. You will soon understand why this is happening, oh, you know. So God definitely speaks to me through this book. Yes, another thing that I said is my Bible. This Bible is very personal for me. I got this Bible on the 11th of January 2019. It's actually written here. <laughs> I got this Bible from my doctor. Oh my God, Dr. Gloria Bird. She is the, as I refer to her, she is the angel that was appointed to carry me through my pregnancy. She is, that woman is anointed. And a lot of women that I have referred to her always come back telling me that she, man, there was a day that I got results that I was not happy with and I was so sad and my husband couldn't be with me for that day, but that woman prayed over me and I left feeling so anointed and so lifted and she was definitely that for me and she is that for a lot of women. So if you are... And you know, I'm going off track right now, but if you are an expecting mommy, honey, no, please, Dr. Gloria Bird, she is situated at the Rana Park Medical Center. Visit her. That woman is amazing. And I'm planning on going to Ventuk in a few weeks. And when I go, I'm going to go buy her flowers and just surprise her because I just, she carried me through a very, very difficult time. She's just amazing. So that's why I love this. That's why I love this Bible and I carry it with me wherever I go. 
okay so other than that I have highlighters in my bag obviously for my devotion and my Bible and my journal and all of that and then I have my remote for my gate I have 50 bucks guys I'm rich <laughs> and then I have tampons that I carry in my bag all the time like in all my bags I always have this not because I don't know when I'm starting my period um, but just you know if a sister wherever you go someone might actually need it so yes I definitely help a lot of people with that surprisingly and then I have my bank card and my ID I don't know what I had to pay for that day but that's about it guys so it's empty in here as you can see this bag is a very very big once again Hendrina, thank you so much for gifting me with this bag first of all um, But yeah, that's all the things that I actually do carry in my bag or that I actually carried In my bag for the past week But yeah So let's carry the conversation <laughs> There's something that I wanted to say but I completely forgot that's why I'm just a little bit lost right now But anyway, let's carry this conversation in the comment section Please let me know what are some of the essentials that you never ever leave the house without James because I know you guys are starting to watch me more now what are some of the things that you carry in your backpack all the time when you go to work or whatever it is right please let me know in the comment section make sure that you like this video make sure that you share this video make sure that you comment and let me know what are some of the things you carry and then also just make sure that you subscribe i have noticed that there are people that actually watch the videos but they're not subscribed honey why please subscribe okay please make my day make me happy and help me get to 500 subscribers and just subscribe to the channel okay blessings to you and your family my loves i uh, hope that you enjoyed this video if there are certain videos that you would love for me to record for you feel free to just leave your suggestions in the comment um, section as well and we yeah well we'll see each other next time i suppose <laughs> take really good care of yourselves from check one to it is uzozo moya yeah.